here we find the general integral and particular integral of a partial differential equation and the PDE is given by y plus zxp minus x plus zyq this is equal to x square minus y square this problem from your previous year university paper okay we first compare this equation with the equation pp plus qq this is equal to r we get p this is equal to y plus zx q this is equal to minus x plus zy and r this is equal to x square minus y square now lagrange auxiliary equation lagrange auxiliary equation is given by dx by p this is equal to dy by q this is equal to dz by r and this is dx by the first is y plus zx this is equal to dy by minus x plus zy and dz by x square minus y square okay and now we choose multiply what are the multiplier we choose the multiplier as y x and 1 and then each fraction of 2 is this is named as 2 and this is 1 ok is equal to y dx plus x dy plus dz by this is y square plus xyz minus x square minus xyz plus x square minus y square okay we multiply by dx with y dy with x dz with 1 and adding all of them numerator and denominator then we get this this cancel out this this cancel out and so this is given by d of xy plus dz by 0 and if we equate this relation with any one of the fraction then we get d of xy plus dz this is equal to 0 that is xy plus z this is equal to c1 okay when integrating the result we get xy plus z1 this is equal to c1 and this is the first relation this is name as 1 sorry name as 3 and c1 is the arbitrary constant now again we add the first two result or we say that we here choose the multiplier 1 1 and 0 okay by choosing the multiplier 1 1 0 we get each fraction equal to equal to this is dx plus dy plus 0 dz by we add this this and 0 into this so y plus zx minus x minus zy and this is given by d of x plus y by this is y minus x plus z into z into sorry this is minus z into y minus x and this is given by d of x plus y by y minus x into 1 minus z okay 
Now we equate this relation with the third fraction of 2 and getting the result as d of x plus y by y minus x into 1 minus z. This is given by dz by x square minus y square. We write here this is x minus y into x plus y. And x minus y, x minus y cancel out. So we get this, this cancel out here. 1 extra minus 1. And we get d of x plus y into x plus y. We multiply x plus y with this. And plus 1 minus z into dz. This is equal to 0. Now we integrating this result. We get x plus y whole square minus z minus 1 whole square because if take common minus 1 here then this is z minus 1 z minus 1 whole square this is equal to c and this relation is relation number 4 so we get from 3 and from 4 the general integral or general solution is given by phi of xy plus z square comma x plus y whole square minus z minus 1 whole square this is equal to 0 where phi is arbitrary function okay this is general integral right now to find the particular integral passes through the line x equal to 1 and y equal to 0. Then from 3 by putting the value of x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 we get z this is equal to c1. And also from 4 we get by putting the value same value this is 1 minus z minus 1 whole square this is equal to C and putting the value of z equal to c1 here and getting the result this is 1 minus c1 minus 1 whole square this is equal to c so we get this is 1 minus c1 square plus 2 c1 minus 1 this is equal to c 1 1 cancel out so we get c1 square plus c2 this is equal to 2 c1. Now find the particular integral, particular integral passes through this line. We put the value of c1, that is this value, and the value of c2, that is this value, this value here, and get the particular integral. So particular integral is we get xy plus z whole square because c1 square plus c2 this means x plus y whole square minus z minus 1 whole square this is c2 this is equal to 2 into this is c1 so xy plus z okay and we get the particular integral of the partial differential equation passes through this line Okay, this is our complete solution of the problem. Thank you. Thank you for watching.